everybody, Gina DeLuca here. All right, so today I am gonna be trying out this product, doing some product testing. We have the TriArt Liquid Glass, and this is a pouring medium, but also can be used as a varnish. Um, that, from what I understand, kind of has the appearance of resin. So very excited to try this out. The fine folks over at uh, Fluid Art Company, that's fluid-art.co for their website, uh, sent me some of this stuff to try. They are going to be carrying this product now. And I'm super excited to try it. This painting, um, this was when I was going for my rose. I was trying to pour a perfect rose. I got pretty darn close on a couple of them. And this is actually a black light reactive painting. But this area, it's so 3D looking to me. I just, I think it's groovy. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to put some of this on there and we're gonna see what happens. Before we get started, have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration cards? If you have, you can fast forward about a minute, but if you have not, what we have are 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards, and each technique card has an associated video here on YouTube. You have this picture here, which is the painting that is in that particular video. You have this box here, which uh, contains a tip for that particular technique. And here at the bottom, we have the color palette that was used in that particular painting. And then these two boxes can be used together as the basis of a two color palette, or you can build off of those colors. And there are eight bonus color palette cards. Each one has five color palettes. You can uh, use some of the colors, use all of the colors, mix and match the color palettes with the technique cards and you have more combinations than you could ever paint in a lifetime. These are available at my website, ginadeluca.net and also at amazon.com. And uh, for those of you in Australia, they finally opened up these shipping lanes. And uh, if I have refunded you recently or in the past because uh, I could not get your products, paintings, or your cards to you, um, please, please hit me up again because uh, we can get that to you now. Okay, I've actually pulled out another painting. Um, this one has metallics in it. I got to thinking I do want to see how um, the metallics look through this and so I'm going to do both of these and I'm going to use two different techniques of application. So it says, uh, the directions say, dries very smooth, transparent, and glossy. Use for a clear coat or add tri-art liquids for color pores. Rigid surfaces recommended. Apply with a spreading tool or pour on and tilt to spread. Clean up with water. So. This one I'm going to pour on and tilt, and this one I'm going to spread. And we'll see uh, how they turn out. In order to prep my canvases for a varnish, uh, anytime I'm using any kind of varnish, wh whether or not the painting has silicone in it, I will clean it. I just use the original Windex and I wipe it down with a cloth because you never know what could be on there. It could be dusty. You could have fingerprints on there. So even if there's no silicone, it's not a bad idea to give it a nice wipe down because you don't want to trap schmutz underneath of your varnish. And if there are oils from your fingers or anything else on the painting, it may cause the, the surface to reject your varnish. So one of those things, an ounce of prevention is a pound of cure. One of those deals. So I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna get rid of that cat hair. 
And we'll just start with this one with the pouring and the tilting. As far as how much to use, I don't know, my ball in it. <laughs> Probably going to need more than that, I think. That is going to stretch very thin. And any excess, I can actually probably just drip onto this one because we're gonna be doing that one next, so. We'll see if that's a good idea or a bad one, but that's that's what's happening. <laughs> okay, I'm not even hitting that corner yet. Kind of going to treat this like a pour. I still think this is going to need a, a wee bit more. Uh, one thing I will say is that even pouring it out of that little squeezy top bottle, I'm not seeing any um, bubbles, which oftentimes when you are pouring it out of one of these little squeeze tops, it can inject bubbles into it. is a relatively slow process when you're trying to tilt uh, when it's so thick and then you know if you're trying to relate this to a pour usually you have a wet base coat so that makes a difference and you know what, just to aid this process, I am going to spread this out a bit with the spatula. I'm just worried about this setting up before I have a chance to get a good spread on this. Okay, now, so I think I'm, I think I've gone about this all kinds of wrong. So, I make the mistake so you don't have to. <laughs> I'm really trying to get this nice and even. I think this is one of those situations where, you know, 
you want to be conservative you don't want to waste product but at the same time if you don't use enough you are not doing yourself any favors this could have been covered already i could have dripped the excess onto the other painting and moved on by now And the longer this takes for me to get it spread out and even and whatnot, it's, it's starting to set up. And that's not what we want at all. And because I keep messing about, I finally got a bubble there, and now they're schmutz. Cat hair, naturally. Too free with every painting. Jeez. And see, my edges here aren't being covered right. Let's use my finger. Will that be faster? Okay, I'm gonna hit these sides, grab these little drips, waste not, what not, what not. This is clean paper I just put down, so there shouldn't be any kind of contaminants in there. All right, so I've got my edges covered, I think. It seems to have leveled out very nicely on its own thus far. There's a spot right here that I'm not digging on. I'm gonna see if I can well again let's not be stingy and cause ourselves problems. Right. Oh, 
All right. Okay, I'm gonna sit this one to the side. Oh, hold on, I see a spot. What's that? What's happening here? Ah, jeez. I may have just uh, messed up. We'll see. We'll see how forgiving this stuff is. That's uh, I guess that's something worth testing, right? Will it forgive me? That is smoothed out. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna bring in this one. Okay, I've got my regular spreader and I'm going to do this like I am laying down my base coat. And see what happens. <laughs> How fast does this work? Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Hold on now. I think I may have just uh, figured out something groovy here. Because that just spread out so beautifully and quickly. Right, and then I'm gonna hit these edges. That really spread out beautifully. I mean, if that, if I could do big pieces, like with the amount of time that it would take to do uh, lay, lay down my base coat. And this, you know, is like potentially just one coat. Um, stuff here so I mean that would be pretty amazing I'm just taking some of this drip, the drips cover the sides a little more. I don't know if you just heard Satchmo back there making all kinds of racket. He's looking for me like he doesn't know where I am. <laughs> he wants to play. This little spot here. Let me... Can I fix that? Seems like you need to get like a little divot every now and then. <laughs> Satchmo. Mo! 
but this stuff seems to self level like really, really well. Very impressed with that. Hi, what are you doing? Don't even think about jumping up here. It's not an invitation. Stay down there. This little spot is causing me a wee bit of grief, but I think, I think it's smoothing out. <laughs> I know, Sajma, we'll play in a minute. <laughs> now he has the zoomies. He is a silly, silly cat. Oh my goodness gracious. He cracks me up all day long. He's funny. If cats could be comedians, he would be Dave Chappelle. All right. That is looking pretty good to me. I am going to allow this to sit and dry and do what it's gonna do. And we're gonna see what kind of finish this has when it dries. I'll be excited to see that because I would absolutely love to have a varnish that I can use where you just apply it once and you're done. That would be awesome because I usually do like 12 coats of varnish on my paintings. If there's metallics at eight, if there's not, um, at least 12, if there's metallics, because that really uh, allows the light refraction to happen and to give it the extra super blingy sparkle. Um, so if I could cut down on varnish time, that would be tremendous for me. It takes me days, days, like, you know, because you have to do it and let it dry and do it, let it dry. And then it takes up my workspace. Um, and then I'm afraid to paint while there's <laughs> varnish, you know, paintings being varnished because I'm afraid to get a splash on a finished piece. And, you know, so if this gave a good result, I would be extremely happy and um, and would possibly switch varnishes. It really does have a nice thick um, consistency and I will be trying this for uh, a pouring medium as well. So we'll see how that turns out, but I'm gonna let these dry and then I'm going to bring you in for a close-up. All right, back in a few. Okay, here they are. They are dry. And I must say, I am super impressed. First of all, look at the depth on that now. That is so 3D. You can kind of see my reflection. But look at that shine. That was from one coat. This is about, this would be about 10 layers of varnish the way that I varnish because I do very thin layers. Um, super, super shiny. And see this brought all of those metallics to life. All of the bling is back. When you use matte, you know, these matte metallics, the deco art uh, metallics, they're in the Americana decor line, they're all matte. And especially when you use Floetrol, they're extra matte. And so it appears very dull when it's dry, but once you put that varnish on, this is what happens. 
and you can see lots of shine and there are I'm trying to get in close there are no bubbles that's the thing that impressed me the most um, that when I was applying it there were no bubbles even when I used the spatula because when I lay down a base coat and I used a spatula I can get bubbles just from doing that there were no bubbles pouring out of a bottle when the air has to suck back in a lot of times that can create bubbles and I got none focus I mean this is like I'm just I'm so very impressed I think it's my camera's going crazy now Yeah, I'm definitely going to be investing in this stuff. The TriArt Liquid Glass. It's super impressive. Um, yes, for sure. Well, that's going to be it for me for today. I hope you learned something I sure did. I'm just found where I'm dropping one of my next paychecks. <laughs> Gonna get me a vat of this stuff. Um, but yeah, check out the description box below for links to the uh, Fluid Art Company who sent me this stuff to try for you. This magical... I can't wait to try it as a pouring medium too. So that that's coming up. But yeah, so fluid-art.co, um, you can get the TriArt liquid glass there. Uh, but that link will be in the description box, as will all of my affiliate links. Do check those out. If you enter through those links or use the code provided, I will receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. And you'll find the link to my website ginadeluga.net where you can find my art and music and the fluid art inspiration cards for sale and last but not least you will find a link to our facebook group go make some art join us there post your masterpieces ask your questions get some inspiration that is going to be it for me for today I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.